today is the day we complete another Kev Stings challenge. Number 46, because... We got a one wheel pipe. one-wheel pint. It's a go anywhere, do anything. Electric skateboard you control with your weight. You simply lean forward to go forward and back to slow down. The board's powered by some super cool high-tech motor that allows you to blast up hills and regenerate when breaking down hills. But you don't care about the details. What you care about is why is this thing so awesome? But, 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 before we get to that, what we do have to talk is the negatives. We gotta do the classic save the best to the last bar, but let's get through the negatives of the board first. The first negative that we'll touch on is the weight of the board. I mean, it's heavy and it's a little bit awkward to maneuver around in your life. There is this nice little handle here that tucks away into the wheel, but you still have to do like the sideways it's heavy enough where it does weigh everything else down and especially when you get to somewhere fancy i mean like what do you do i'll go left thank you i'll go right here thank you hey what do you what do you it's too small to want to bring it inside with you i mean to want to leave it outside it's not like a bike you can just lock it up but then it's also too big to just easily sit right between your legs if you're at dinner or at a bar or something so that's uh. I also have a couple of noises with the app. There's this really fun list of streaks and top 10 leaders, but that's all you can see is the top 10. I wish there was some larger list that you can click into and see where you stand on the whole, you know, worldwide scale. And continuing on that data nerd topic, I wish I could see more in-depth board stats when my board is off. All I can see is this little blurb with distance and if I want to disconnect the board. I want to geek out on the typical angle ridden, the longest trip, Quickest acceleration, deceleration, biggest hill ridden, you know, all that good stuff. My last real qualm with this board are the lights. It's nice that it has a front light and a tail light, but they're not really useful. At night, they're not useful at all. You can't really see in front of you and you can't really see behind you with those lights, but at least they serve to let other people see you, which is super key, especially when you're doing something like this, riding through traffic. All right, we're done with the negatives. Now onto two neutral points, the distance and the speed. Distance, they claim six to eight miles. I've been getting about nine to 10. Good job, one wheel. But even with that, you would be surprised how quickly those nine to 10 miles go when you're having this much fun. And then the second is the speed. They claim a 16 mile an hour top speed. I've gotten 14 and after 14, it starts to push you back, which means the front of the board starts picking up to slow you down. Now, I'm putting these as neutrals because you know what you're getting when you buy the board. That's clearly all over their packaging. Six to eight miles, top speed of 16 miles an hour. So, you can't really be mad at someone when they tell you what they're gonna deliver, you know? Now, it's on to the positives of this thing, which is why everyone's going crazy for this board. Starting off, this thing can go anywhere i mean you can crush it all throughout the city like you've been seeing me doing all day gravel grass dirt cracks train tracks everything it's phenomenal second huge benefit is it's electric I, come on i'm doing nothing right now and i'm climbing up this little hill <laughs> that's pretty cool feeling the board is also actually practical in that it's not that hard to learn how to use it I mean, I'm riding through city traffic right now after only a couple miles on the thing. It's super maneuverable, so it can go almost anywhere, make any turn, fit anywhere. It can turn 180 on just one dime. It's one wheel. So it's not like you need this huge amount of space to be able to turn. And yes, I, a six foot six, 
230 pound rider am able to go uphill with this thing while pulling my wife. Also 6'6". Six, six, yeah. Also 6'6", six, six, 230. Hey, man. <laughs> uphill, two people, all being pulled by the one wheel. This thing is powerful. The last and most major pro of this thing is what I call the unicorn factor. And then when you're riding around, everybody looks at you like you're a unicorn. Because no one's ever seen something like this and everyone just wants to know what is that. So all in all, this is an extremely versatile little board that's a ton of fun. If you don't live in a city and want a practical item or more of a vehicle replacer, I honestly would stick with the bicycle or look at the One Wheel XR, which is the bigger brother of the pint and it goes farther and faster. But if you live in a city or you have the expendable income and just really want a unique experience, I totally think this is worth the money.